Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to design two reflector antenna, especially uh, cut green antenna. And let's start. First of all, uh, there is a very good source where you can start uh, w1ghz.org. And this is a very good site made by Paul Way. I really appreciate it and I use it in daily basis. And it contains a lot of stuff. Definitely check it, this out. Today we are going to focus on this part. Uh, multiple reflector dish antennas, especially uh, this part. And if we click this link right here, here opens the PDF file. And it starts uh, from introduction and explains all the geometry of the uh, dual reflector antennas. Uh, like here that we had designed prime fox uh, reflector antenna and all kind of stuff and uh, definitely read it if you want to know the theory of the work that we are going to do and uh, the one of our main issues right here here is the Kazegran antenna geometry we uh, first of all uh, you have asked for a supervisor or professor or your boss to design a Kazegren uh, antenna. What do you have to do? First of all, you have to define the diameter of the antenna. Next, diameter of the subreflector. Uh, and according after this, you must uh, choose your f of focus over diameter ratio. And based on this value and the value of your corrugate horn antenna or other feed horn antenna uh, you must find uh, the focus time uh, distance your hyperbolic reflector uh, parameters and etc and also let's say that uh, and you already know and this is a uh, parabolic reflector uh, uh, and this is hyperbolic reflector in parallel reflector, we only need to define two parameters, the diameter and the focus length. But in high parabola, uh, let's look at this uh, here. Huh. In high parabola, we have uh, curves like this. And we uh, and this uh, uh, one side of the high parabola have a focus point, uh, which is defined by C. And it must uh, placed on the prime focus of the Kazegren antenna. I am repeating, this is our hyperbola, this will be our subreflector uh, shape, and this point, uh, namely C, uh, must be placed on the main focal point of our uh, parabolic reflector antenna that we designed in our previous video. And here is the formula of the hyperbola we are going to use. So let's start. And uh, I have here example. I not can use it. We are going to design new antenna. Click new. Click new template. We are going to design reflector antenna in expand in 8.25. You can choose uh, other uh, frequency if you want. Click reflector. Click next. We are going to use integral equ equation. It gives very fast solutions in this type of antennas. And click 8, 8.5, sorry. And we can use, where you, we need far field. Click next, expand, reflector. Uh, I usually use this very, uh, hmm, we all have. And click, yes. Okay. We are going to make a new project. So, first of all, let's design our parabolic uh, reflector antenna. First, uh, so click curves, click analytical curve, and we have parabola, and if t is k, it's zero, and it's t uh, squared over four times focus and uh, let's uh, I forward uh, let's not uh, use this and here I said that we have a PDF and we have here a spreadsheet 
Mm. Uh, click here. Uh, you are going to download this Cassegrain antenna design calculator. And definitely we are going to use this. First of all, we need uh, input parameters and they are defined in blue numbers. And uh, we first need to define the frequency of our antenna. Next, we must define the diameter of the dish and our f over d of our dish and our equivalent f over d of uh, our uh, double ref dual reflector antenna. Next, we must define the feet on diameter. This diameter you will find from your uh, horn design. And also you must define the face center. Let's just click zero for this. Uh, you can also find this value after you are simulating your uh, horn antenna design. And based on this data, it will calculate out the necessary parameters that we are going to use in our design. Especially, you can, uh, in the PDF here, uh, all the parameters of this uh, Excel are defined. You can check them out. And uh, here we are going to define the desired subrescript diameter in terms in terms of wavelength and uh, based on this value uh, he will calculate us hyperbola a hyperbola b and hyperbola t parameters which we are going to use in our design also we uh, will use these parameters uh, in our design so let's start design antenna what we have said, we are going to analytical curve, uh, parabola, and it will be t0, uh, t uh, squared. I will add this project file uh, under the uh, video and click preview. What will be our focus? It will be, uh, let's just define the diameter. What is our diameter is 7.3 meters. What is our f over d value? f over d value is 0.4. And so our focus will be f over, f over d times d, which is 29, 30, 20. And click. Uh, Finally, <laughs> I pola click t zero t squared over four point focus zero two d over two d over two is our hyperbola. Click preview. It will show us the hyperbola curve. Next, we are going to define the circle, and it will be uh, d over 2 radius. Click OK. Uh, next, we are going to transform this curve by a certain amount. It will be d squared, uh, d, sorry, d over squared over four times focus. Click, click preview and our curve will be on top of this our cross section of hyperbola. Next we are going to choose this and click uh, face sweep curve. Ah, sorry. Uh, sweep curve and click this will be our pole pola and the material will be picked and click OK. Ah, this will be our main reflector. In the next step, we are going to define our hyperbolic sub reflector. So uh, we are going to use the data calculate from here and we are just going to add this data on our CSD file 
so hyperbola a which is uh, to, oh, sorry point one zero hyperbola b uh, which is 280 and hyperbola C which is 4.2.1 okay that has been defined and let's design our hyperbola and again we are choosing the another curve hyper oh, it's not a it's parabola I just misnamed it sorry about that and uh, what is the formula for the hyperbola. This formula is written here. We are just going to use this formula to define our hyperbola. Uh, so what it will be? It will be hyperbola A times square root of 1 plus C squared over hyperbola b squared okay uh, zero uh, sorry for that it will be here it will be zero it will be t and what's our it will be the sub vector over two and what is the sub vector diameter uh, we can find it from here uh, where it is uh, so the diameter is written here 618 click preview and it's our vector diameter click ok and we uh, have here our hyperbolic curve so just copy that, click OK. This is our curve. We can make a uh, subject diameter a little bit uh, wider, and it's not a problem. So next, click circle again, click uh, escape the subject curve. Over two, click preview. Click OK, and next we are going to move this circle, transform here, and what it will be, it will be the diameter sub over to click preview, and what's our problem? Hi again, uh, it was giving error because uh, it cannot, uh, this transform function cannot uh, calculate the square root data. So if we click OK, we again we are getting a curve like this. And if we click the sweep curve, sweep curve, and if we click OK. Here we have our subreflector. Uh, it's recording, okay. And here we have our subreflector. Next, we are going to ship this to the main focal point of our reflector antenna. Just click here. And we must first shift it by hyperbole C value towards. Uh, center next so by focus towards the power focus of main antenna and if we click OK here we have our antenna and uh, sub vector and you are asking how we are going to define uh, where will be our 
uh, cone or the main uh, center of our uh, horn. So if we, if we can uh, fade this is our example, and let me just copy from here and uh, yeah. So uh, if we click horn horn. If we click escape, bottom radius will be zero, top radius will be uh, ten. If zero, you zero. Click preview, and what will be our exam max minus right, preview? So next, just click here. Preview. Okay. So uh, this will be the main surface of your horn antenna, and you must first uh, simulate and uh, define the phase center and the main parameter of your horn antenna. Then, using this Excel and using these input parameters. Find the necessary diameter of your uh, surface vector and uh, parameters of your hyperbola. Next, uh, just came to CST and design your double reflector antenna. And here you go, you will have a double reflector Cassegrain horn antenna. So, in my next video, I am going to add real corrugate horn antenna here and simulate this whole system in CSD and have a good day, see you in the next video.